Hi everyone, just a quick message. Um, I wanted to offer you the opportunity to make a donation um, of a minimum of one pound via PayPal to yourpsychicconsultants at gmail.com. Um, and everybody that makes a donation, for the foreseeable future, I'm going to choose people um, at random to get free one hour readings. This is because the more you guys can support me, the more time I can put into um, uploading videos and doing more for the channel, which I really want to do, because I spend a lot of time on my private one-to-one -one clients and I like that, but I would like to give more time to, to these. And also to give the opportunity for people that can't necessarily afford a, um, a full hour private reading to be able to have the opportunity to get one. So um, you, it's for it's a the minimum of one pound um, of a British pound, which I think is about one dollar fifty. Um, and I'm not sure. Obviously, you'll have to kind of do the do the translation into whatever currency you use, but hopefully it's not too much. And um, but just make sure when you do it that you click, you don't click that it's a ser you, a service or a good because then about a third of that will go to PayPal, and it won't be a pound, um, and you won't be a in the draw. So um, and depending on response, I'll give. You know, I'll give quite a few. I'll see how many, if there's a good response, I can give more free readings. And I'm hoping to do that, you know, to give away quite a lot of free readings, as well as um, if people do want to um, pay. So, yeah, so just make a donation via PayPal to yourpsychicconsultants at gmail.com and you could get a free reading. Thank you very much. And just to say that you will be in the draw for a month of the date of donation and hopefully I will be picking quite a few people within that month. Um, but so for you will be in the draw for a month after you make your donation. Hi Pisces, this is Agatha. Welcome to Psychic Consultants. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has viewed and liked and subscribed to my previous videos. This is a general reading for January 2016 um, for Pisces. So I'm just having a bit of a shuffle. In the general spread, I'm just going to lay out eight cards with no kind of particular spread um, order and read them as I go, see what kind of energies are going on. Right, so I'm just going to cut the pack. Ooh. Go with this one. Okay, so Pisces. Right, so on the bottom of the pack for this month for you, I have the Nine of Pentacles, and this is a card of abundance and beauty and feeling really good. It's a and a card of security. Um, it's a, it's a good card in terms of money, so I think it could be a a good month for money that you'll be feeling a little bit um, flush with the cash. Um, and if not that, then it's just that you've got everything you need around you. You've got your family around you. You've got lots of love around you. You've got, um, it's a kind of relaxing feeling of, of security. Um, so that's, that's really nice. Right, so for your cards, we have the Five of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Hanged Man. Right, so, um, 
interesting, what I'm seeing first, as I, was, as I was kind of laying the cards, is that there are lots of fives. So five is kind of relevant. We've got the five of cups here, then the five of swords, then the five of pentacles, and then the hierophant, which is number five. So... I'm not quite sure what that relevance is going to be, but it's relevant for me to mention that there's some kind of five thing going on. It could be that there's a five-year cycle or five weeks or five days or five months or some kind of thing in, in terms of the, the number five that's, um, that's relevant. Okay, so I'll start off with the, the first card and, and the, the five of cups. So... I think this is a feeling, this is a card of disappointment. This person is looking at these three cups that have spilt and can't see these these two cups behind them that are still standing. And I'm getting that this is in terms of love and relationships because the cups represent emotions and love. And so emotionally you're feeling kind of quite drained. And I think maybe that you've you've been giving a lot, but it's it's not been received very well and it's just been wasted. Um, and I'm getting that you're not giving enough to yourself, you're not loving yourself, you're not giving enough time to yourself, and it's like you're kind of doing that thing where you think, if I look after other people, then I'll get looked after, and, and kind of expecting them to do the same, and it's just disappointing you, and this is in relation to this five month, five year, five week kind of thing, I just feel like I'm even getting that it might be even over the past five years, some kind of energy where you you just keep giving and it keeps, there's this endless kind of giving that you're doing, but it doesn't matter because these cups keep falling over and it's just to look after yourself. And I also feel that it, it is to do with love and partnerships and, and just to let you know that there are these two cups behind you and there are opportunities and there is love and there is emotional security available and stability you know these cups are standing but it's that you're putting all your energy into these these cups here so it's that you're you know not to be so disappointed and also to to give to yourself first um, because I do feel like there's a sense of betrayal with you as well. It's it's like, I think some, you feel as though, whoopsie, jumping cards, um, something or somebody has, has betrayed you. But unfortunately, what I kind of want to tell you, because it's tied to this five of cups, is that you're kind of betraying yourself. And I think that's the truth of it. It's like, you are betraying yourself by, by giving before you give to yourself. And this is what this card is kind of clarifying in terms of this five of cups. And I'm getting that what you need to do is you really need to to chill out. And this is going to happen. It's it's like it might feel like it's a bit of a backward step because we're moving from this five of swords to the four of swords. So it's it might feel like it's a bit of a, a backward step for you to just chill out and rest about things. But I'm getting that you really do need to chill out and rest and stop giving so much to other people because it's not going to get what you what you want and what you deserve. And I think you know that. Um, so just chill out and, and meditate if you can, I'm getting a meditation for you, and I think, you know, there'll be some clarity in, in, in that, but it's important that you kind of let this kind of five energy go, but I think it might be a little bit difficult to let go of, because we also have the, the five of pentacles going on here, so it's that, um, you, there is, there is a lot, again, it's the message that there's lots of opportunities around you, very similarly to these two cups here, um, there are loads of opportunities and abundance and great things around you, um, and you see these two people that are just walking in this kind of desolate, cold, horrible kind of place, and they're not, they're not doing, um, quite so well, um, I'm getting that health might be a problem for you actually right now, um, and it is that you've just been giving too much and it's really impacting you and you're just feeling you're you're debilitating yourself by by giving a little bit too much and it's leaving you out in the cold and you're feeling kind of that, that help isn't 
at hand and it's like I'm doing everything and nobody helps me but that's not true there's all this stuff in here and this building here there are these five pentacles and I'm getting that you know it could be if it's not health it's money it's just that there's a lack there's a lack of health there's a lack of money there's a lack of love and and it's not true it's just not true it's just that you where you're, you're at right now you can't really see it and just to turn around and I promise you that it's there and the way that you're going to to find it is is by just chilling out. We've got an even bigger energy, a major arcana energy for chilling out, and it's the hanged man. And the message that I'm getting is that there are lots of um, things that you're not aware of that need to come up for you to see. And there may be some people that you've been investing in that just weren't good investments, and that you need to just really chill out, be easy on yourself, don't beat yourself up about it, but that you've got to stop and take a... And chill out for a bit take a few minutes maybe even take you know five is relevant maybe five weeks you know you might need to just chill out take a back seat and things will become clear um and is that you know it, it does need to come to an end this 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 giving too much and this feeling of and is i feel like it's been repeated this feeling of betrayal there is help at hand there is help at hand from somebody that can help you, either professional or an advisor or a teacher or um, somebody in a position of authority that can really help you out with this. Um, I'm getting the, or a counsellor because this hierophant is directly below this this five of cups here, and it's this feeling of disappointment. And I do get that this is a kind of love feelings, emotional feelings um, and love, and that there is somebody that can really help you with that and get a grip on that. Um, they could be a professional or it could be like a really good friend or even somebody that, you know, it, they're just in a position of, of power and strength. Um, or even a religious figure, you know, somebody within your community um, spiritually that, that could, could, could really help you. And once you get in contact with that person so really be on the lookout for that person in february because once you get in contact with them they will help you to to move on um and this eight of wands energy is a very fast forward fast moving energy if this is in to do with a disappointment in love this five of cups there is new love coming in um when you because it is available, you see, as I said in the card, these two of cups behind are available to you. And as soon as you kind of switch your perspective and turn around, I think they'll be there immediately. Um, if this is somebody that's, that you, it's like a recent breakup, they could come back. It could just be that your, your perspective is in the wrong place. But if they don't, a new person will come. There is new love, a new lease of life, a new kind of love that's on its way. Um... If it's not in regard to a love situation, it will just be that literally the same kind of thing, a new lease of life. You can see the little buds on the eight of wands and all the wands. Um, so there, there are new things happening, new growth. And I think this person of, that's going to help you, look out for support. Reach out for support. That's what's going to help you, reaching out for support. Rather than you being the one that's always you know, giving to others. It's like you just have to stop and receive a while. And as soon as you do, you'll you'll feel more confident and that's going to create this energy moving forward. And then you're going to going to be able to kind of step out of your of your comfort zone a bit. Kind of step out and be a bit um more brave about who you are. Um it's going to feel a little bit difficult and you might feel a little bit scared or a little bit like you're out you've taken you've bitten off more than you can chew um but this is it's just because it's in, it's new and it feels different it's not bad and it's keep going you know because um it it's following on from this from this eight energy and it's just you know kind of go with it but throughout the whole month the the lesson is really to to really to really chill out it's that there are two kind of big lessons, two major arcanas here. The first one is, is the Hierophant, and it's saying there is somebody available to you that will support you. If it's not one person, it's literally a community. I'm getting that it could be some kind of spiritual community or an online community or face-to-face um, -face is, is always kind of more 
I'm getting that if it's face to face, it's going to be more fast moving. And that there is definitely, it's like allow yourself to be supported. There is definitely a person that can help you one to one and be on the lookout for that person. And you may even know who that person is. Go to that person, don't be afraid. That person that may have helped you before. Um, but also that you are supported in your community. There is a community um, kind of around you. If you're married or in partnerships, this person could be your spouse or your lover or who you're in a relationship with or your partner, even your business partner. Go to that person for support. And I'm getting that you may be a little bit afraid of, of do, to do that for some reason or that they're not in a position that they're going to be able to help you right now. But it's no, don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to be communicate. To communicate. Go to this person and they will help you um and keep you know keep communicating and that's how you're going to break this cycle these fives these kind of dodgy fives that are going on this hierophant energy that's how you break it and that's why i think this is what this five thing is though i do think it's going to be relevant to a few of you some of you are going to understand what that five meaning is maybe put it in the comments um, and the other big energy I've got is the hanged man. So really it's just stop, stop what you've been doing. It's not really been working. All these, anything that's been disappointing you, any kind of, I think there's some conflict that's been going on and you just feel like people are really taking advantage of you and you're being betrayed. Um, and, and it's just your thoughts are in the wrong place. You're not seeing, you can't see all the good stuff because you're focused on the bad stuff. And it's really impacting your health in a bad way. It's not, you know, you're tired, you're stressed. It's just what happens when you get into those kind of places. Um, and so it's, with this card, I was getting definitely that meditation, if you can, is going to help. But it's just, you've got to stop. You've got to stop. And you've got to just chill out. And you've got to be patient. And you've got to be patient with yourself. And I think you're just kind of feeling like you should be achieving more. But the more you push, it's just not working. And in all areas, this is kind of like vibes coming in all areas. So it's emotionally, financially, you know, mentally, you're kind of feeling drained and exhausted. And, and the message that I'm getting is that you've just got to draw a line just really stop and just just chill and then it will get things will then be a lot clearer for um for the next month and also just be easy on yourself you got to be looked after and i'm getting you know go get a massage go go to a spa you know just kind of i think you've been carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders and you really don't need to it's just focus on you and um and then also there is this this love possibility um with this with this eight of wands it's kind of cupid's arrow um so if there is any heartbreak and loss going on there is new growth there is new movement in the right direction that's going to help you um so this is also a, a quite a, a big energy that's kind of going on so go with that and be be ready for that too I'm going to pull a kind of advice card from the Archangel Power Tarot card deck by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Um, the deck that I use, this deck is the Rider Waite deck. Um, if anybody is interested, a few people have been. Um, so yeah, I'm going to draw a card from the Archangel Power Tarot cards. They kind of have messages on them and, and advice. So it's going to be a bit of a, a take it as a bit of an oracle kind of advice card for the month for you Pisces. So a little bit of a shuffle. Let's just, okay, I'm going to go for this one. So it's the Two of Ariel. And it says, it's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. And it's really interesting, this picture, you see this guy is kind of balancing and he's got these, the yin yang symbol, kind of two couple of marbles that he's holding. This is a very interesting card. And then there's this 
angel kind of watching over him. So I'm getting that you are kind of watched over by an angel type light, beautiful light. So you are protected and just remember that. And you don't have to do everything and you are supported. You don't have to do everything. And it is, it makes sense, you know, with these fives, it's that you've, you've been draining yourself because you're just truly juggling too much. And maybe it is that work is a big thing that's, you know, really taking a lot of your time, but it's just not really good for you. So you've got to kind of, it's the same kind of message of shifting your perspective so that you can, um, you can juggle things a bit more easily. I'm going to read from the, there are a couple of messages that, um, there are more messages in the um, little book that comes with it. So I'll just see what that has to say. Two of Ariel. It says it's important to have balance. You may be working multiple jobs or you have several projects going on at once. Reconsider your to-do list. Is it really necessary to accomplish it all? The key to managing stress is to think of ways to make your situation more fun. Look at life in a playful way. Yeah, same kind of message. Just chill out with things. It don't get so sucked up in into things because it's gonna wear you out. It says you may be having challenges balancing your budget. So yeah, there's this, this as well, this because that's kind of in that card of pentacles. Be cautious of juggling your finances in a way that causes long-term difficulties. Career changes should be looked at carefully and decisions made slowly and logically. Chill out and make sure you look at all the options. Additional meanings of this flow, going with the flow, as I mentioned before, making it look easy, the ability to get by on little money. So it's that, you know, you can, everything is actually okay, but just take a step back and chill out and let it let it flow. All right then, all details to get um, your own personal private readings, I will put below the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if, if you do like and you would like to subscribe so you can get um, my readings as they are uploaded. Otherwise, I hope you have a fabulous February. Look after yourself and I shall see you next month. Lots of love.